Namaste. This video is brought to you by Merge Classroom Academy. In part fifth of the cells, I will discuss about eukaryotic cells. As I explained in previous video, there are two kind of cells: prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Sorry, here the English and Hindi is opposite, but yeah, eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. And previous video, I explained about prokaryotic cells. So now today. I will explain the eukaryotic cells. What is eukaryotic cells? As I explained in a previous video, eukaryotic cells are the complex cell type of system. Prokaryotic cells are easy cell type of system which prime which uh, originated in the beginning of the life when life started in the earth. They emerges as a prokaryotic cells, and they don't have nucleus in prokaryotic cells. Their DNA is spread it throughout the cytoplasm here this is the basic structure of eukaryotic cell this is the very simple drawing eukaryotic cells might is more complex than this but here to understand it easily this is a very easy drawing and you can see the eukaryotic cells similar to the prokaryotic cells they also have plasma membrane this plasma membrane is made up from the phospholipid this is bilayer membrane in the next parts of the plasma membrane i explain the detail of this and other cellular organism but here just see this is plasma membrane and then their dna is actually exist in a confinement place it's called the nucleus so this is nucle this is nucleus sorry yeah this is nucleic acid inside the nucleus and nucleus is surrounded by the membrane which called the nuclear membrane this membrane is quite similar to the plasma membrane it's also bilayer membrane and nucleus has as i say dna which make the good sutra or chromosome chromosomes are responsible for transferring character parental character to next progeny and then just connected to the nucleus there's a structure which has a finger like extrusion ex extrusions and this sometimes is spread throughout the cells sometime in the part of the cells this structure is called endoplasmic reticulum in short form we called it er endoplasmic reticulum has several small attached granules type structure you can see here these granules structures are ribosome ribosomes are either spreaded in throughout the cells in the cytoplasm or they are in attached form of the endoplasmic reticulum so the attached form of endoplasmic reticulum ribosome involved in protein synthesis actually and they make proteins here then protein transfer to golgi body here is the golgi body and then this synthesized protein when reached to Gol golgi body golgi body matured it and sorted according to the need and sent to different places so this is here is the golgi body and then the another structure this is mitochondria mitochondria is very known structure we called it powerhouse of the cells the, pro, the nutrient break here in a co2 and atp is stored inside the mitochondria this is stored atp act as an energy for cells so this is called mitochondria and mitochondria has several finger like protrusions so these are the basic or very important uh, cellular organelles of the cells which i highlighted here many of them are not here and this is the structure of eukaryotic cells so if you will compare with prokaryotic cells i explained in actually in previous video but here they don't have nucleus but here in eukaryotic cells nucleus are there eukaryotic cell has several cellular organs like endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria golgi body 
and then protein synthesis occurred through this. And then the important part, eukaryotic cells also have cytoplasm, of course, similar to prokaryotic cells. And the cytoplasm is filled throughout the cells. This cytoplasm is actually partitioned in two parts. One is inside the nucleus and another is outside the nucleus. The cytoplasm or the semi-liquid material which is inside the nucleus is called nucleoplasm and outside of this nucleus is called cytoplasm and if you will combine these two nucleoplasm plus cytoplasm then it's called protoplasm I'm sorry so here is the example of various type of human cells actually all human cells are eukaryotic cells but human body has several type of cells like they have rounded cells like blood cells or they have a sperm like structure this this filament they have a small and then they have some rough surface and the muscle cells like these kind of or other cell like neuron cells they have many protrusions like spider like things net or epithelial cells several type of cells or hepatic cells so even eukaryotic cells has many confinement or many different morphologies thank you for more information you can visit the website or you can write us email you can also see our current update in our blog or youtube channel or even you can follow us on Facebook page.